This is going to be a study about things to put on before the mask. The first thing is put on the Lord Jesus Christ. In Galatians 3, 26 through 27, For ye are all the children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For as many of you as have been baptized into Christ have put on Christ. So you're so concerned with wearing a mask, but what about your soul? You're more concerned with this physical life than where your soul will spend eternity. It's going to heaven or it's going to hell. Have you ever thought about the fact that you're more concerned with your physical health instead of the health of your soul? Have you been baptized into Christ? That's not water baptism. That's a baptism that takes place the moment you put your faith and trust in the Lord Jesus Christ. You're actually baptized into Jesus Christ at that moment. And any man who doesn't come to Jesus Christ, who shed his blood on the cross for your sins, that man will spend an eternity in hell. Many people will spend more time worrying about this physical life. And they won't put on the Lord Jesus Christ. They won't get saved and then live how the Lord wants them to live. Luke 12, 22 says, And he said unto his disciples, Therefore I say unto you, Take no thought for your life, what ye shall eat, neither for the body what ye shall put on. And he goes on to say later, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So if you seek the eternal things first, then this is key. That should be the priority. You should care about your health, but do you even think about the soul? It says in Ephesians 4.24, And that you put on the new man, which after God is created in righteousness and true holiness. You don't have the new man to put on if you've not believed the gospel. The new man is the Lord Jesus Christ. After you get saved and you put on the new man, then this means you are walking with God. You're having your mind on eternal things, living right, talking right, and being godly. These things are more important than wearing a mask. Be mindful. I'm not talking to every person who wears a mask. I have to wear a mask at work. It's required. I'll go by the rule. It's not a sin to wear a mask. Who I'm talking to is the hypocrites who are more concerned about wearing a mask. They're so concerned about it that they forget about the really important things. For example, look at the filthy mouth devil puppet rapper Eminem. Look how he promotes the wearing of a mask in his song because in his mind, if he goes to the store and uses the same shopping basket as someone else who doesn't wear a mask, then he's going to get the coronavirus and end up in a coffin, according to him. But here is some of the lyrics from his song. He says, talking about someone else here, don't want to wear a mask, and they're just scoffing. And that's how you end up catching the blank off them. I just used the same basket as you shopping, now I'm in a blank casket from you coughing. Now listen to this. He raps about drugs all throughout this verse. He goes on to say, Turn the volume up. I'm fired up like a blunt. Bread is long and long like an Italian sub. I am drugs. That is probably why your opinion of me is high as blank. Okay, so he's scared to death to not wear a mask. Or be around those who don't have a mask. But yet he's going to rap about drugs and do drugs and do many other foolish things. This world we are living in is very strange. And I'm not going against someone wearing a mask, but come on. You're, you're against someone not wearing a mask, but then you're going to do drugs and all these other foolish things. It doesn't make much sense. Colossians 3, 9 and 10 says, Lie not one to another. Seeing that you have put off the old man with his deeds and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. So something more important than putting on a mask is putting on the new man, the Lord Jesus Christ. And some of y'all never put on the new man. Some of, your, you, some of you might not even be saved. What's more important, your physical health or your soul? 
You put on a mask. You put on an Eminem song. But you haven't ever even believed the gospel. Next, put on the whole armor of God. In Ephesians 6, 10 through 12, it says, Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. So if, if you're a Christian, then you need to realize there's a spiritual war going on. Something you need to put on before the mask is the whole armor of God. Ephesians 6.14 says, Stand therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. So if you have truth, then you can be bold in the truth. Everything around you is a conspiracy. But you hold the word of truth. Everything around you is a rumor or a false flag. But God cannot lie. Have your loins girt about with truth and you'll be safe from the 2020 deception going on. Put on a breastplate of righteousness. Doing right is always right, even when everybody says right is wrong. The Bible talks about how they will call evil good and good evil. But if you're a Bible believer, then you know doing right is always right, even when it's considered hate speech. Ephesians 6.15, And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. So Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and resurrected. And that is the only cure for your sin sickness. Is to put that gospel on. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Ephesians 6.16, Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. Everyone's got masks, but they forgot the shield of faith. They forgot the devil's fiery darts are a lot more dangerous than a coronavirus sneeze at Walmart. His darts are a lot more dangerous than germs. Ephesians six seventeen: take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. The Bible, the Word of God, is the only cure for stupidity, and hypocrisy and foolish nonsense you see going on today. If people would read the Bible, then they would get a little bit more common sense. They would stop thinking so strangely about things. Make sure you get your priorities straight starting today. 2020 is definitely a time when spiritual wickedness is at work. This world is just whacked out and backwards. You have women with their kids in the car driving around with their mask on but at the same time, they're listening to that I'm Savage song where you have this wicked woman rapping and glorifying her own filthy, depraved condition throughout the song. And how, how does that make sense? You're forgetting about you have a soul and your children have a soul. You'll make sure your babies put on a mask your kids will put on a mask, but you'll put that filthy garbage in their ears at the same time. I mean, are you feeling okay? You may be sick already if your priorities are that backward and silly. First Thessalonians 5.8 says, But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and for an helmet the hope of salvation. I know people who preach you to death about wearing a mask. Really. But are they sober? They're so concerned about their physical health. But why don't they put the bottle down? They'll put a picture on Facebook of themselves wearing a mask, promoting how everyone should wear a mask and that you're just selfish and silly if you don't. And then the next time they put a picture on, they got one of them drinking a drink that the Lord plainly said not to drink. What does that say to people? You must already be sick. You're not thinking straight. Romans thirteen twelve. The night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. What I see on the news lately is a bunch of people in masks running around completing the commandments of the devil. They all have masks on. And I guess it's easier to rob people that way since 
they can't see your face. It's easier to act like a heathen if nobody can identify you later. They aren't casting off the works of darkness. They don't know anything about putting on the whole armor of God, the armor of light. They don't know anything about putting on the new man. And next, they can't put on kindness. Can you put on kindness? This is something foreign to people these days. Would it kill you to be kind? You must be afraid of kindness as much as you are the coronavirus. You must think it's going to kill you or something. Because you will not be kind to anybody. Colossians 3, 12 through 15. Put on, therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, the bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness, long-suffering, forbearing one another, and forgiving one another. If any man have a quarrel against any, even as Christ forgave you, so also do ye. And above all things, put on charity which is the bond of perfectness, and let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. There's a bunch of things for you to put on. I'd rather put these things on and catch the coronavirus than to never catch the corona and not put these things on. I seriously just watched a man wearing a mask come up behind an old white guy in a store and beat his brains out with his fists. Just beat him up. But it's okay though because the old man was white. It's 2020. You've seen it. Uh, white lives don't matter. Just a certain other lives matter. Uh, where is the kindness? Can't Couldn't this person have put on kindness? Uh, I'm going to be nice to black people because black people are people just like me. Uh, they're, we're all equal. I'm going to be nice to white people. I'm going to be nice to old, young, fat, skinny, short, tall, and hypocrites too. I'm going to be nice to everybody that I can be nice to. And there's not a certain group that matters more than the other. That's all silly nonsense. The phrase black lives matter is racist. And the more you're going to talk about race, the more of a division you're going to cause. Just get over it already. Uh, the last thing we need to put on is something the Lord is going to put on you soon if you're saved. And it's going to look a lot better than your leopard print face mask that says I'm savage on it. It's going to look a lot better than anything you have on this earth. If you're saved in one of those one of these days, you're going to put on a new body at the rapture. 1 Corinthians 15, 53 through 55 says, For this corruptible must put on incorruption. That's those dead bodies that get a new body at the rapture. And this mortal must put on immortality. That's me at the rapture. If I'm still alive, this mortal body is going to become immortal. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The coronavirus can't get in my new body. Uh, Eminem is worried sick about being put in a coffin, according to his song. Deep down, he probably has no idea what's going to happen to him when he dies. And there are billions of people walking around with masks, worried sick about the corona, but they are on their way to hell. And if they died today, they would be burning in a second because they don't care about the soul. They care about this physical body more than where their soul is going when they die. They care about this physical body that they have that's, that's mortal and that's corruptible. They care about it more than getting a new body that's incorruptible and immortal. This body I have is going to the dust. I could put a mask on, but I still got ear holes and eye holes too. What happens if someone sneezes and the mist of the corona goes in my eye sockets? It's not wrong to wear a mask. I don't think it's a sin to put a cloth on your face. Will I wear a mask? Sure. Do I think it's going to help me? No. Uh, you can wear a mask to bed for all I care. I'm just pointing out that your heart problem is more important than if you're going to catch the coronavirus or not. And some people have, are already mad at me 
and have probably already turned me off. But the issue is not wearing a mask. It's what are your priorities? So before you look down on someone who isn't wearing a mask and make silly comments about how someone is foolish for not wearing a mask, do you have other things in your life that are way more dangerous than not wearing a mask? Make sure you're saved and living right because your dirty heart is worse than a face with no mask. The fact that you're not saved is a lot more dangerous than the fact that someone at Walmart didn't have a mask on. The fact that you're saved and living like the devil is a lot worse than the person at Food City who doesn't have a mask on. Just make sure that your priorities are straight.